You're welcome. I hope your uh, teeth. I hope your teeth are still white. <laughs> I just fin- let, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, and so it seems the team is really playing with a lot of confidence and chemistry uh, these days. Things have come together. Why do you think um, it has turned this way um, at this point in the season, um, especially given all the pieces coming and going? You know, we talked about that uh, in the beginning of the season. Um, the coach are coming with, uh, with a new process. So we needed time to understand and... Um, and to learn, you know, and I think now we know exactly what we have to do uh, when we need to press, when we need to, to drop and uh, um, we know exactly uh, our position, what we need to do individually, but also as a team. And you can see now, well, yeah, we play with uh, much confidence and uh, the organization is much better. Um, you can see the team now, sometimes we are very compact. Uh, you know, when we put the pressure, when we don't put the pressure. So, yeah, I think it was just about uh, the time and uh, step by step, we are, we are here. We'll go to Jason Anderson next. Uh, hi, Fred. Thanks for speaking with us. You're welcome. Uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to kind of um, build on uh, Stephen's question here. Um, Ramon Abila just came in um, as one of the leaders on the team. Uh, you know, welcoming a player and making sure that they feel part of the group, you know, on the field and off the field is such a big thing. Um, how important are these next few games? Uh, Ernan said that he would travel with the team, whether or not he's going to play is a different case, but um, how important is that time uh, with the rest of the group going to be for bringing him uh, into the fold a little more? Yeah, obviously we have a tough uh, schedule now. Uh, we play against Nashville. They only lost uh, two games. They tied 10 times. Uh, and New England, you know, they are first in the, in the standing, so it's going to be a very tough, tough uh, uh, schedule um, to game away, uh, very close. It's going to be tough, but uh, like I said before, we have a very good team. Uh, we are all together. We have a be- better group now uh, in the way that uh, we are all together. We work for each other. And you talk about the new addition. Uh, now he's, he's a part of the team, so uh, we try to do our best to uh, give him the, the confidence. You know, um, uh, we welcome him uh, as, um, or you can say, uh, the best way, the best way possible. And uh, yeah, uh, I think we are, we are ready to compete, and uh, we know what uh, we expect from uh, from those two games. We'll go to Dave Johnson. Fred, you were just talking about. Uh, oh! Uh, <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Are my teeth white? No, it's. Uh, it's per- perfect. You look good. <laughs> good. Um, you, you were just talking about uh, you know the knowing when to press and when not to press. Or is that is that the big difference where it's for players? It's becoming more automatic. In other words. You don't have to think as much. It's just it's a it's a feel. Is that happening right now? Say say again your 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 last word. No, I, I was just. I mean, in other words, you were talking about the team knowing what to do in in certain situations. Yeah. Is, is it just becoming because you've had a few months of this? It's it's starting to feel natural. The new system where you're not thinking as much. Yeah, you know, it's it's, it's it become a habit now. Uh, of course, sometimes it's, it's not good enough. Uh, maybe we press at the time that uh, we don't need to press or we drop when we don't need to, to drop. But uh, like, uh, like I said before with uh, uh, Steve, we know now uh, what we have to do, when we have to do the, the, the things, when we have to press, when we have to, to, to drop. And uh, like I said, yeah, I think it's about habits, uh, learning about our, our mistakes we, uh, we did uh, before uh, the previous game. And um, yeah, step by step, I think we are here and we know the process. We know what uh, the coach wants uh, uh, to do. We are we have better understanding uh, about uh, the situation in the game. We talk also uh, more, uh, not only me behind uh, as a leader of the team, but almost everybody now try to, to talk and help uh, uh, the teammate front or near to, to, to him. So um, yeah. It's only about uh, uh, the learning the process, and now I think we are here. Step by step, we understand, and uh, we are much better. 
We'll do one more question for Brett. We'll go back to Dave. And what's what's defensively in your mind the big concern for Nashville? I mean, they won't create a lot of chances, but they they can strike on the counterattack. Exactly, exactly. They have good uh, individuality, especially up front with uh, Sapong and uh, Mokta. Um, even in the middle with Dax, uh, they have a very good team, a very uh, complete team. Uh, I think not only uh, uh, forward but uh, the whole the team uh, defensively in the midfield, in the midfield, but also uh, forward. Um, we don't know yet what uh, are they, are they going to play. We have an idea, of course. Uh, we need to be uh, ready um, with the proactive defending uh, because I think uh, they're going to stay compact uh, like they, they played uh, the, the last few games and uh, they're going to try the, the contra-attack. So we have to be aware, uh, ready, uh, proactive and uh, all the time uh, be uh, short on them, especially uh, the guys up front like uh, Sapong and, uh, and Mokhtar.